Welcome back. Let's play some more 10 minute games on our favorite website, at least for now. It's not 81 Dojo, because 81 Dojo we don't play 10 minute games on. Good luck. I forgot to adjust my volume, but this should fix it. All right. There's. I'm able to aim at third file rook here. I'm still able to aim at it here because they've not moved the king. All right. Still, hmm. I'm a bit confused at this point. Um, I think it's still reasonable to keep aiming at third file rook here. And now if they exchange bishops, I'm covered against various forks. Uh, they are playing aggressively here. I don't want to overcastle. Don't want to undercastle. I don't see anything better than tucking the king away. Alright, they play third file rook also. This is a tense position, isn't it? Okay, we play... Oh, this is not flexible as compared to gold 5-2. Gold 5-2 seems more flexible, but might introduce more holes in this corner. Okay, they protect this pawn. Um, and now I'm confused. Okay. I protect as many pawns as I can think of how to protect. I could take this bishop here. Taking the bishop wouldn't even lose a tempo this time. Um, that's interesting. I think this is just as sensible as exchanging bishops here. So I'm threatening to take this pawn. The rook is in the way, so this gold cannot defend the pawn. This gives my opponent some opportunity to come up with something creative. Yeah, that works too. So they block their bishop. Um... I'm not fully sure how to continue here. This blocks my rook, but cheapos against the bishop aren't worth like sacrificing everything for. All right, so tactics will abound here. If this silver chases the pawn, maybe I can push it. If both silvers chase the pawn, arguably their king could be unsafe. So I'm no longer defending my bishop. The silver move was too early. It lost a tempo. Yeah. They're trying to prevent me from playing pawn 5-5. Five five. That's okay. Um, we'll find a different way to activate our bishop. Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know about not doing it, though. Nine minutes.
Their king is in the center. This is a good time for me to exchange things. Like, obviously I should be attacking here. Okay, they attack my weak point. Point taken. I should have foreseen that. Well, okay, so this is going to be a mess. Yeah, I picked the right time to attack, but my technique is lacking. So I'm in trouble. I can move my bishop out through the edge of the board. I should not have blocked my bishop this way. I act impulsively. Or acted impulsively. Um, but yeah, I can still push my edge pawn and try to bring the bishop out through the edge. It's not great because they just defend the silver and what can I do? Um, not a whole lot. Uh, so, what can I do? I can still attempt to activate the bishop. Oh, they attack my knight directly. My knight has no recourse here against this attack. Yeah, I'm just walking straight into stuff. Um, all right, let's do the best we can still. If they take the knight, I can take back with my pawn and threaten to exchange more pieces. I'll get two pawns in hand. My rook and bishop are attacking the silver. I want to break this file, but it's not going to break. Their rook is going to try to invade on this file. Their king is still in the center. All right. Yeah, it'd be ambitious for them to exchange here. Um, I don't get this move, though. Go Fun. Well, I'm just going to admit that I'm confused. I guess they can undermine my knight now. This The silver's not exactly pinned here, is it? They could take this pawn. I could take this pawn. They take my knight. I take here. They get something out of this. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to protect my king from a bishop. But it's not super smart.
I just really want to attack. Like, I really, really want to attack here. I'm not too picky about the details, about how it works out. So. Here we go. I don't have a pawn to exploit the silver anymore. Um. I guess I'll take this pawn. They have a night drop. I don't know what the night drop's gonna do. Oh, now I have a pawn. They might unpin their bishop. They don't. Or rather, the silver is still pinned here. So, yeah, if the silver moves, we get a bishop exchange. Which could be interesting. Might not be interesting. Um. Just because I gamble on something doesn't mean it's a good idea. Brick takes. I'm sure, right? I played that quickly because I'm in time pressure, but like, Rook takes seems correct. My overlay looks fine. That's why I was tapping about there. But yeah, I couldn't find any other way forward, so now we have a Rook. What good is a Rook here? I don't know. Depends what holes open up for a rook drop. I want to push this pawn and drop a rook here. That might not be possible or feasible. Um, okay. My rook dodges your bishop. If you drop a knight, I can take here, and I can promote, but whatever. Um, that's sensible. Um, I don't have a mate as far as I see. I'm looking. Rick Silver is interesting. Let's Tower try this. Code. You got my interest. You have my curiosity. Where does this lead? I'm attacking the king's head and a gold general. Where does this go? This is a mate threat. They take. Maybe there was a different move order? I don't know. That looks playable, right? Um. How complicated. Let's hit this horse so that they don't have some discovery in the center.
Attack this again. Um, Nifun. I think this is right. So next is silver up or gold over, or silver over. I'm not sure which silver goes there. What else I'm threatening to take this? This is complicated. Yeah, I think this is correct. Okay, I misread that. It's probably still fine. Definitely not my finest reading, but I think it's still fine. It's just a mess and a half. They take my silver, yes. I don't know. My timer ticks, and I make mistakes. Oh, that is a really straightforward mate. I thought I could take that. My mistake. Thanks for the game. I saw the knight check. I thought I could do pawn takes. Clearly I cannot. Well played. Yeah, that attack was on thin ice. Good luck. My attack was on thin ice last game. It managed to work out, but... Or, it really didn't, actually. Um... Okay, we're gonna play fourth file rook. Out of... What seems to be necessity. What really is just... More fear on my part that, I don't know, this line is really complicated and I don't know all the nuances. Um, hmm. I can play this, right? don't understand what we're doing. Both of us are playing some extremely dangerous game here, except I'm the one in trouble. Oh, I should play this. I should have played that many moons ago. Um, Alright, so I survived the opening by some miracle. Yeah, note to self, next time Pawn 5-5, five five, the Vanguard Pawn, is a good idea. Don't shy away from it, because um, it's actually a pretty key concept. So, next I have to find some useful move here. Um, hmm.
I'll try to make my bishop useful, but it's going to be a long, difficult opening. Especially if I don't, like, exploit that while it's still an easy target. I am... Yeah, I'm on tilt. I apologize. I apologize to y'all who have to listen, but also to my pieces here that are dealing with my immature decisions. Alright, so let's push this. Incredible. Alright. I am ready for that. I am super ready for us to open that file. Let's see where this ends up. Yeah, they built a castle. It's a good castle. It's not perfect, but it's still quite good. Uh, really? Some players sacrifice to get their opponents to do such moves. I didn't... Um, I didn't have to sack anything to get that. So yes, their rook is actively protecting the king's head. Yes. Is that a stable shape? Not really. Okay. Point taken. You do have an attack there. I should have moved the silver ages ago, and didn't. Now's the second best time for me to move it. Um, let's move it. Ages ago would have been the best time for me to move it. All right, we have to go this way. Tactics force it. They sacrifice. I didn't anticipate that. Um, but I think Not I'm ready for it anyway. I am profoundly confused. What happened to this game? I don't understand. I need to make use of this piece. This seems to be the best way to use it. Yeah, they prevent me from trapping the rook. 
that was only one of many ideas here. Um, I'll try to activate my rook. They say no. I'm not surprised. Um, we say no to their rook. They attack our bishop. We attack somehow. But yeah, there has to be some de-escalation here. We can't escalate forever. Um, so this is going to be how things calm down. Did they miss my gold hanging against their bishop? Yeah, there's... This has been a really sharp game. Um, it's possible we both missed things, but... My plan now is to promote the bishop, bring the knight up, take this, take the gold, take the gold. They're not going to let me do all those things, but... Um, okay, they allow me to take a rook for a silver, if I want it. This is tough, actually. Because I could improve Go my through. castle. Um, yeah, we're going to solidify my castle here. Trade off their most menacing pieces. Hmm, am I impatient here? Yes. How impatient am I? Also, yes. Very, very impatient. So, this is where we are now. This is what I get for being impatient. Thankfully, my bishop covers this square, or else I'd get made it the same way I got made it last game. It'd be nice if I don't make the same exact blunder two games in a row. Um, I've got to vary it up a bit. Hmm. I promote. My king is going to start running. He'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to fear but fear itself. But no, I want to drop a gold here, and that looks interesting. It's probably not as interesting as I think it is. Also, they could drop a rook on this back rank. I've not thought enough about that. Now, if they drop a rook, I can drop a gold to counter it. Um... Oh, the rook on the upper row. Yeah, that's tricky. Okay, what's the purpose of this move? I don't know. Oh, it allows me to walk into a fork where I give up my rook for a piece. That would not be smart. All right, very well, we retreat.
That's a clever night drop. It's not, I've got a night drop. If they drop their bishop, they can no longer drop it here. Unless they actually drop it right there, but why would they do that? But yeah, they slow my attack considerably. Um, I don't see another fork protecting this silver. So it <laughs> seems to be a target. If I promote here, they still have the same fork. So let's take somewhere else instead. Um, yeah, we'll take the lance. It seems sensible enough to take the lance. All right, we'll take a rook. That seems good. Uh, this fork is still there. Something. How do I remove the knight? Let's remove the fork. Seems to be the best way to remove the knight. Okay. We'll fight back. Nifun Sanjibio. Um, ah, they protect against my most direct attack, so yeah, we'll, we'll conduct the attack this way. And a second rook should do finish this off. Um, Oh, retracting the horse slows my attack. But yeah, thank you for the game. That was a rough game. Um, but hey, we're making progress. We're working our way up to Wondon. It's going to take some dirty tactics once in a while, but I'll try to play better than that. In the bishop exchange, don't push the central pawn. Didn't know that one. Good luck. That seems like it might be a good thing to keep in mind. This is, I think this third rook file rook is playable there. Um, and I think, yeah, if you play it this way, I think it's okay. Um, if I take here, their silver moves up quickly. Right, let's just both complete some castles and get out of the opening alive. We have a bishop exchange with tempo loss. Um, I think it's sensible to move this. Okay, let's keep ducking. So we gained one tempo this opening. Um... Let's just build on Aguma, right? It's a viable strategy.
Maybe I shouldn't have brought this silver up to play Anaguma. I don't know. There it is. Bishop exchange Anaguma? Is that a thing? Well, maybe it is now. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Since their rook wants to crack this file open, I want to move off of that file. Also interesting. I definitely should have seen that coming earlier. I did foresee it, I just didn't think it was anywhere near as critical as it looks this instant. Um, looks pretty severe. Schnikes. Alright, is this serious? I don't know. It looks really serious. That's why I bring the rook over. Um, and then the rook up. Or the rook up looks dangerous too. The rook up looks very dangerous, but a rook exchange also looks perilous to my pawn. Oh. They can bring the silver forward, can't they? Yeah. Hello. I thought this was fine. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm having second thoughts. Um, honestly, that's not my greatest concern here. That's definitely not my greatest concern here. Okay. Well, shit, I'm going to be hanging a gold in just a second. Um, which maybe is fine, just given what a mess this position is. But, um... No, it's not fine. Yes, I really want a rook. No, I'm not getting a rook. But, yes, I would like a rook. Nanafun. Um, well, I'm hanging a gold, but this gold is not defended either. I should... No, taking here was much more sensible. This is much more greedy. This relies on my opponent dropping this pawn with check. Um... I can't guarantee... Like, I'm hanging both gold generals in order to get one gold general. This is severely risky. I should not have done that. This is much... Well, this isn't any safer, because it ends up with the same formation, but... I don't know. <sighs> Basically, I have no patience. <laughs> and I fully expected them to play this. And I bet the entire game that they would play that. And they did play it. But, um, was it the right bet? Almost certainly not. That was not a safe bet.
That's clever. Um, attempting to reinstitute a threat. reinstate a threat um, I'm being greedy and looking at options okay I pick a dangerous option not all dangerous options are equally dangerous Plus, I thought, like, dropping pawns on this file might be safe, but it definitely isn't. That is extremely dangerous for my opponent. Gofun. For reasons they might not realize. Um, if I drop here... If I take the silver, they take promote. If I drop here, the silver can protect this. If I drop my bishop immediately, their silver can't protect their king. But I don't get the same attacking forces. How do I get the perfect attacking squad and also not get mated? That's the question. I think this is forced. They're going to sacrifice their rook, which will slow their attack. It's not a perfect attacking squad, but it'll have to do. Yeah, they promote predictably. Um, They can't defend this point. I strike the weakness. Mm -hmm. Strike the next weakness. Smoke out the king. Something. Stop mate in one.
2分30秒 I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, they drop another gold over here, not there. Or here. I don't know. This gets complicated. The fewer defensive pieces they have, the better. I have a night drop here. That's an epic looking night drop. But, like, any move prevents this night drop. <laughs> Including that move. Um, Nifun. Okay, I attack this. They might retreat. They might just drop a gold. If they drop a gold, I can go back. But it's not so simple. <sighs> Going back might suck. So they've committed everything into defense. I can attack at my leisure again. This won't be easy. Might be interesting. Pawn drop, knight drop. How do they stop all my ideas? Silver attack sucks for me. Oh, wow. That's a cool move. Ippun. I'm lucky I saw this in advance. That was not accurate. It's interesting, but... But there are many tactics here. Actually, maybe it is accurate. This is one firestorm of a position. No, this bishop check was better. Or some bishop check idea is better. Silver drop was the move. Silver drop next move if I still have it. I mean, they're not going to take my knight because I have other tactics. Um, this is fine. 
I'm prevaricating all over the place because it's hard. Sanjubyo. It's really scary for them. Nijubyo. Thanks for the game. Yeah, that was a slick ending. Thank you. Um, yeah, so thanks to opponents for these very, very exciting games that we've had. We're gradually moving up toward Wandan, um, in part because I'm playing openings quite aggressively. Maybe in part because I'm taking my time and trying to think of good moves, but that tends to get me in immense time pressure, and in time pressure, crazy things happen. Hope we enjoyed these games. Thanks for watching.